Terasaka finally got his redemption. Kind of. I'm not sure if he's completely corrected, but he definitely acknowledged his wrongdoings. He was pretty annoying, not gonna lie. Makes sense why he is all pissed off, but goddamn, he like sold off our own teammates. He was like basically poisoning the water. Just created this perfect scenario where our quote unquote brother along with Shiro should win again. But again, more prep time. It doesn't change anything. Sensei is fine because Terasaka did actually come in clutch as well. He he cleaned up after the mess that he made. So should I be applauding? It's better than nothing. Now, there's a specific line that was mentioned at the end when they're talking about how in the heat of the moments, you know, we didn't really truly realize Sensei's actual fatal weakness or something like that. And maybe that's like, We've already seen Sensei save Karma when Karma like jumped off the cliff. If the fatal weakness that was overlooked is Sensei sacrificing himself for the safety of his kids, I don't think that's necessarily new because we already kind of knew that. But if that is, I'm not sure. Or maybe there's something entirely different that we don't know. Let's begin today's reaction. Kunuga, evil, evil mascot. Scary guy, bro. That's right, final exams. This is the rematch between us and the principal because he, he got us in the midterms. Then we got them back during the baseball ex exhibition. It's 1-1 right now. I'm sure the principal is going to do something so dirty for the finals too, though. A miserable feature as a loser, a waste of human garbage who can't reach the bar. I honestly kind of thought this way too when I was in high school or elementary school. Like, I saw like homeless people on the side of the road and I thought to myself like, if I don't get my shit together, I'm gonna end up like them. Grades are everything, I need to get my GP propped up. I, I actually did think like that when my worldview was very limited. I was a stupid kid that was very like tunnel vision into grades are absolute. <laughs> Garbage class. Bro, come on. Yay! <laughs> this is the Koro Sensei tutoring multiple subjects at once, right? Like, specifically catered to each individual, and he's doing multiple things like, ev at every single time, and he's resting too. There's like a little bench where he just like rests on too during the t during the lesson. <laughs> We gotta get the principal back. A new goal? <laughs> who said... Who, did anyone say Terasaka would do bad? What, who, who said this shit? Isn't this just like an underhanded comp, like, comment? Like, like nobody mentioned anything. And yeah, and he's still wearing the fucking Naruto band just for Terasaka. <laughs> That's true. Oh, he can like shrink himself to offset even slower. And now even smaller, compressed. <laughs> I had to pause just in time. He's playing the dad, mom, and the kid at the same time. Child images with the parent image. <laughs> Bro, how the fuck is he making this? Mom's leaving. Oh no, I think mom's going out to the fucking streets so that they can afford a living. This is sad. <laughs> Jesus. 10%. Just one. Okay, good reward, I guess. I don't think it's gonna change anything. No, even if I shoot one tentacle off, you just showed us that you can compress yourself and return back to the same speed. There's no way this like one tentacle free shot is gonna make any difference. Yeah, it's still like Mach 1918 then. Finals time! Of course. Yes! Beach Sensei? Karasuma? Okay. You're not gonna play dirty? Okay. Your emergency 30 minute tutor prep session for that one question 11 or something last midterm. What was that? You did something though. Like, you have so much direct interference. What are you talking about? I think that maybe for the finals, he won't do anything. I don't know. It's, it's hard for me to believe. Like, as soon as we get an early lead in anything, he will always show up to put class E down. If someone else is gonna do it for him. 
Nah, I think he will. He, he, he always plays around the rules. If he says, like, I don't do it, autonomy, what's him already coach someone else to, like, do the tutoring or something? The students themselves will act on behalf of the principal's orders and make an unfair gap. You can give me a Lego. What the fuck is that voice acting? So it's not like the top student gets one tentacle off. It's more like top scores in each respective category. So if we, I mean, yeah, maybe we could cut off many tentacles, right? We, we ace like every single category, but still, I think that he could still like move at a mock speed that's still so incomprehensible and still compressed. Yeah, poison girl. ベースボールだ。ベースボールだ。ベースボールだ。ベースボールだ。ベースボールだ。ベースボールだ。ベースボールだ。ベースボールだ。ベースボールだ。ベースボールだ。ベースボールだ。ベースボールだ。ベースボ
What the fuck is this, bro? It's, you, I mean, the girl's kind of liking it, though. She's blushing. <laughs> Ew. I mean, she's, I mean, she's enjoying it. <laughs> er My man, you can't say er and, th and then say that, like, his English skills would be a laughing stock. Brother man, you are a literal guy gin right now. You sound like one. I mean, he's not wrong. It's actually so true that like in high school, if you're not in like these elite like IB programs, memorization, rote memorization will get you through bulk of high school. You don't need to critically think. You don't need to actually like understand how to like apply these like theories and concepts. Memorization is honestly enough. And then you realize that you hit a wall. You hit university. If you go to a pretty reputable university where the curriculum is pretty like strict, you realize that memorization doesn't do shit. It's all about like how do you apply the things that you memorize, and that's where it truly takes like you learn how to actually critically think. And like this also, you can't blame the kids. The kids are simply gaming the system. They want good grades. They're gonna memorize a test bank of questions that was given down from the past years. It's always been like that, right? But like the school has created this system where you don't reward kids for actually understanding and applying critical thinking, but rather like just memorize these things and you ace, you're just gaming it. It's all bullshit. Oh. We'll be fine. How, how, how is Ritsu gonna? What's, what's her name again? Is it Ritsu? Reika? I forgot her name. VTuber girl, though. Like, she is a literal robot. You can't answer wrong unless, like, Ritsu, right? Yeah, I was right. Like, I feel like she could just, she is the answers. There, there's no way chat GPT could just fail in high school. Itona, I guess, doesn't participate. Yeah, but you let us know. I think that uh, he cares. I know that he was an asshole for a bit during the baseball tournament thing, right? But he got corrected. I think he's looking out for us. Plus his voice, his, his voice acting, the announcement narration shit. That was actually really funny. <laughs> Isu guy seems pretty important. Same with that blonde girl, Karma. Is this our big five? <laughs> Karma don't care. Damn! At school, you will not refer to me as father. I am the principal. <laughs> <laughs> not even facing him, bro. Fucking petting his Persian cat, facing away, drinking fucking champagne. Top spot in all five subjects. Alright, I mean, we're going for that shit, too. What's a soccer ball here for? To show that he's good at everything. Damn, he got footsies! He getting cocky! Bro, this is so overly dramatic. The soundtrack is crazy. What's the hardest thing to do? Sorry, things can change in an instant, right? Yeah, they can switch sides just like that. E class could become A class. To remain on the top. The soundtrack is so epic. <laughs> oh? Allowed. What? Yes, an alien tentacle monster that's gonna blow up the earth if they don't get, if he doesn't. Like, here's the thing. You are studying for exams to outcompete, but here's the thing. We are also wasting our time trying to study for this shit because the real threat is kidding Koro Sensei by March where everything dies. Isn't that funny? I know at the end of the day, it's not about that. It's all about having a goal to unite people so that people feel like they can actually have, you know, they can believe that they can do better. And Koro Sensei is teaching them all that. But like, if you really think about it, it's just like, damn, they have an alien tentacle monster that needs to be killed. They're wasting our time fucking studying for midterms, finals. Oh! Damn, one hand! He's too cool. He's too fucking cool. That was genuinely better in Blue Lock. And that's so sad. Assassination Classroom, Studio Lurch, also. <laughs> better in Blue Lock. This is way better soccer animation than an actual soccer anime. Blue Lock Season 2, by the way. 
He's getting himself involved. The sun is quite smart. Okay. Shit. It's a flying octopus. That's pretty good. That's pretty much it. Yeah. He is doing such a shitty job, bro. Holy fuck. It's on camera. Like, I know that, like, Koro Sensei's identity hiding thing wasn't, like, that important. Right? Like, it's a, it's a shonen show. We're having little gags here and there. Ha ha hee hee. But, like, everything is caught on camera. Everything is uncut on camera. There's so much fucking evidence. Nurufufu behind a well endowed woman. What the fuck? Sensei, please! Blackmailing? He created a monster, man. Are you proud of this? I'll do the same to you. <laughs> This is the most wholesome father and son relationship I've ever seen in anime. And you know what? Maybe it's not the most wholesome. Definitely isn't. But at least they have a relationship. And that's more than you can say for most anime kids. Straight up, their dad just leave immediately. They don't even exist. A at least he's here. Yeah, they're seeing some fucked up shit. But, but at least he's here. You know what I mean? <laughs> Why is the window breaking? While well, they're like, <laughs> Father, I'm gonna own you like a fucking slave. No, he said like, uh, what, what did he say? I think he said like, I'm gonna keep you as a corporate slave until the day you die. And the other thing is, I'm gonna fucking own you for your life. <laughs> Happy Father's Day. I wonder what the mom's up to. Oh, yeah? Yo. The big five. Okay, this guy's face, stop him! Okay, is he trying to be like this? Bro, the biology guy, he, his resting face. Like, like he's always just making the most demonic face possible. Shut up. Ugh, R A. No, go pick somewhere else. She was not studying at all. This does not help. How the fuck are you gonna be reading up a book about fucking desserts? Wah, wah. Yeah, the blonde girl's sleeping. She's straight up sleeping. Shut up. That's right. This actually might be the matchup. Biology versus biology. I know she's chemistry more. Says you. <laughs> the Megane is making fun of another Megane. <laughs> As class comedy is actually pretty funny sometimes. Most of the times, actually. <laughs> you too, bro. <laughs> You're both Megane. All three of you are Megane. Oh. Oh, ew, 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 ew. Actually, this is funny because she reminds me of Horikita Suzune and Ryu would always show up and like take Suzune's hair and be like. <laughs> Oh, Susan, eh? What's up? Oh, she <laughs> That's so creepy! <laughs> Servants? No. <laughs> creepy. What? 23rd Japanese. Wow, blonde girl. Ryo did really well. These are our top five. <laughs> Just bonk her head? Okay. Anything? I hate how they're so touchy with us. Ew. Lives on the line? Lives on the line. Really? You think you're putting your lives on the line? Oh, they got no fucking clue, bro. If only Nagisa could just pull up with this like serpent aura right now. I don't think you really know what that means. Okay. <laughs> Everyone had like a pointy object, right? It's like a fucking box. It's a ruler right there. That's actually pretty dangerous, bro. This is also pretty dangerous. But this is <laughs> spirit gun looking ass. Mm -hmm. You really know what it means to put your life on the line? <laughs> You'll regret this. You won't get away. <laughs> it's, not so, it's not so convincing when you run away like this. Running away now. Ooh. Anyways, what a bunch of losers. But they'll do anything if we win? It's <laughs> all <laughs> your fault. 
ルールはめっとつだけ。One comment. 内容はテスト後に発表する。That's bullshit. You're gonna just change it. How can you just have. Alright, if you win, you get to do one thing, but the details of the one thing and the restrictions, the way that it can be done, will be announced after the finals. What? What? You can just fix it up into a however bullshit way it makes sense for you later. <laughs> Got some flashbacks of like esports StarCraft, bro. Fucking Korean dude with like 400 APM. <laughs> that was one hand, though. That was fucking one hand. What's the agreement? He wrote that all just now? <laughs> one hand, he just wrote that all? Subordination. 50 clauses. Pretty detailed. That's a lot. You don't even need many commands. Because you have one that does 50. <laughs> Good job. Now, if he was forced into a situation where, like, you know, we showed our I think he definitely could. This soundtrack is so good. That's right. We are the sun! He's a good leader. It's like a devil. Dude, he's a straight up fucking devil here. It's a goat, bro. Three horned fucking goat thing. The centipedes again, the centipede aura. Karma. Karma, bro. I think that, like, karma versus Asano could be so interesting. I don't need to say it. The show will just fucking tell you. There's nobody that can compete him. And then, boom, instantly, the next character. Who is it? It's Karma. He does. Like, that's like getting a bit too fixated. True. They gonna play dirty. Oh, Kachima the goat. You'd be surprised. Yeah, but if we lose, they may make us do even worse shit. Maybe Okajima will clutch for us though. That'd be nice. <laughs> this? Mm -hmm. What was that? Did I miss something? He flipped the book and then suddenly everyone was like, Whoa! I think that this is supposed to be mysterious for now. It's a school pamphlet that he turned around and everyone just realized something. I don't know. It's just a school. It's, it's just a school. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure. The whole idea is like, you know, you've been always at the scraps, you know, but for the first time, there's a chance for you to actually go for number one. So like, you try your best. I think it's supposed to be a mystery, yeah? What is this? What are they doing? Devil's old time. There's a bunch of sweaty dudes on amphetamine just typing. They're basically making bullshit questions, I think. They're, they're, I, I don't know. There's a bunch of people in here. The principal said he wouldn't do anything, but yet here we see it. They're gonna rig it. This is literally sweaty. They're actually sweating. It's no longer a problem. It's problem monsters. I did enjoy the way that they like portrayed the whole exam taking in not just like pen and paper, but through like hype action. Cause it's a, it's a shonen show, right? So you want to keep it oonga boonga a bit. You got to shonenify stuff, right? So like, you know, when we're fighting the, you know, we're doing the fucking hard test. It's actually monsters. And we're going to be fighting the monsters again as imagery. It's looking like the difficulty of the test is just really hard for everybody though. One. Oh, that's it? Plans within plans. The 50 clause was not necessarily to give him more shit to do, but to kind of like hide this one thing. And it's for the secret, the truth of what exists in E class. Okay. 
You know what? Maybe this kid we can work with. Because, like, he is actively trying to dethrone his dad so that he can get into power and do some horrendous shit. Yeah, 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 for sure. But, like, before that happens, like, he is actively opposing the dad. We are also opposing the dad. Maybe we can kind of help each other out just for a bit. I wonder who the mom is, though. Finals day. Tinfoil theory? Koro-sensei before when he was a human actually fucked the principal's mom? No, not the principal's mom. The principal's wife? That's why he hates Koro-sensei so much? No, I don't think that's it at all. I think he just hates anything related to do with E-class. I'm just thinking, who's the principal's wife? <laughs> These two again! Bro, you're not even top 5. You, you've been power crept. Like, of all the NPC students at the fucking, you know, the elite school, you two were just shown as the goons. Now you're no longer just, like, important. There's, like, top five that showed up. That's way more important than you. Get out of here. Oh! <laughs> nice. Ritz. <laughs> That's not Ritsu. That's not Ritsu at all. What's happening? What the fuck? What happened to you? She had to go through that? I would have loved to see this. It's looking like, you know, the fake Ritsu had to go talk to Principal or something? A, a, a pity feel? I, I, maybe? Good luck. <laughs> You can't make this that easy. Come on, I'm just saying random shit now and it just works. Hi. Here we go, we're gonna get cliffhanger for this. He's so confident, it's scary. Arena this is a fucking coliseum. <laughs> this piece of shit, bro. How are you still here looking this cocky after she fucked you up and you had you gotta put a band on your nose like that? It's war. Coliseum! Alright, we're gladiators now. Oh, cute hammer. Alright, next episode though. And that's another episode of Ass Class. What's happening? We're setting the stage for the final exams. Remember, it's 1-1 one, one right now. In the midterms, we should have won. But Principal played dirty as usual, right? Had that little 30-minute brief session for that special question 11 that everyone knew except us and got ahead of us. But we got his ass in the exhibition baseball match, so it's technically tied 1-1. One, one. I don't really think that these scores really matter. Like, no one's keeping scores. It's just, you know, it's just 1-1 one, one right now. And then the finals now. There's a lot of things on the line, right? Because if we win, we can make them do whatever they want. If they win... They have their own thing that they want us to do, but the important thing is that Asano tries to find a secret within Class C. But if they, if he were to find the true secret in Class C, I think the story could get even more interesting. Like, the secret just being hidden in E Class, if that got out, I think that the story would then go to the next stage, because now other people are going to be aware, right? But maybe it's not that a bad thing that Asano might win or something. Also, his entire thing is just like opposing his father because he wants to basically control everything, right? There's some really cool funny scenes between the principal and the, and the kid. Like, they are so edgy. They are just so, so edgy. Like, this is just cool, but the way they talk, the soundtrack happening, the casual way that one says, you know, I'm going to control you forever. And it's like the other side's like, no, I'm going to keep you as a corporate slave forever. It's just like, what a nice family. Again, still better than most fucking anime dads where they don't even exist. And this test got harder. I think like overnight, the principal like pr made a bunch of dudes like program the questions to be harder for everyone across the board. I think that we do have a pretty good chance to win. And if we win, then, you know, we get the tentacles cut off from Skoro Sensei. I still don't think that's going to do anything. But hey, next episode, we'll find out. That's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. Then until next time, take care.